forest. A forest. Tell me about this forest. It's vibrant, mm -hmm. colorful. It smells wonderful. Mm. Ancient. It's an ancient forest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this forest. From what perspective are you seeing the forest? I'm walking through the trees. I'm walking through the trees. I'm very tall. Hmm. I'd like for you to describe your body first by looking down at your feet. What do your feet look like? I have two toes. <laughs> two toes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're furry. Mm -hmm. Two furry toes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then strong. Mm -hmm. What do your legs look like? They're like fur. Like fur. Mm -hmm. Blonde fur. Blonde. Very good. But I'm walking upright. You're walking upright. So let's take a look at your torso. What does your torso look like? Mm. I'm wearing armor. And mm -hmm. Over the fur? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you standing upright? Yep. Okay. And take a look at your arms. What do they look like? Human arms. And what about your hands? What do they look like? Human hands. Human. Big. Mm -hmm. Big hands. And let's take a look at your head and your face. I have um, long blonde hair in, in braids. Mm -hmm. Are you female? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Long blonde hair. How long is this hair? Down to the middle of my back. Mm -hmm. And how old do you feel there? Are you young? Are you old? Young. Young. What number comes to mind? Twenties. Twenties. Very good. So now that you know what you look like, let's take a look around. Where are you? You say you're in this forest. Mm. What do you do there? Mm. Hunting. Mm -hmm. Hunting. Are you using anything to hunt with? Like a sword. A sword. How long is a sword? Mm. A couple of feet. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, are you alone in this forest or is there others with you? Alone. Alone. Very good. So I'd like for you to now allow yourself to progress through this scene and just describe everything you see and do. Mm. Going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The more you speak, the more you'll see. I'm traveling mm -hmm. and I'm walking to a town. Mm -hmm. What does this town look like? Small um, houses. What shape are these houses in? They're small houses, mm -hmm. like with um, no edges. No edges? Are they like domes? Mm, not quite. Like uh, round. Round? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The tops also? No, they have like um, roofs on them, like, like thatch. Mm -hmm. Thatch roofs. Okay. How There's... many do you see in this town? Are there a lot of them? Yeah. 
Um, 40, 50. Mm, it's a large town. What else do you see in this town? Do you see any people? Yeah. They're smaller than me, though. Mm -hmm. They're smaller. What do they look like? Yeah. Are they furry also? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look. They look like um, like raccoons, or mm -hmm. but bigger. They look like larger raccoons. Mm -hmm. Do they stand upright? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know these people in this village? No. No. All right. So let's find out what it is that you do there. What happens? I think I think I'm just there to resupply and mm -hmm. talk to them. And All right. So allow yourself now to go to the place where you need to go in this town to resupply. Be there now. Mm. What is it? It's um. It's like a, a man. He helps me. Mm -hmm. I I visit him when I come into this town. Mm -hmm. What do you do with this man there? How does he help you? I, we trade. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is that you have to trade with him. Some, some furs mm -hmm. and uh, some spices he likes. What does he give you in return? He... He talks to me mm -hmm. and he gives me um, like new clothes. Mm -hmm. It's more he talks to me. Mm -hmm. Very good. So take a look at his eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. Does this man seem familiar? Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to understand the connection between this man and the lifetime of Kim. Hmm. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's go to the place where you live in that lifetime. I'm going to count from three back to one and we're going to now go to the place where you live. When I get to number one, I'll tap your forehead, taking a deep breath in now. Three, going to the place where you live in that lifetime. Two, and one. Be there now. Where, where are you? It's like a big emerald, emerald city. Mm -hmm. It's bright, colorful. Everyone else is tall like me. Mm -hmm. Do they all look like you? Yes. Mm -hmm. When you say it's emerald city, is, are all the buildings made? Yeah. Of stone? Like stone, like crystals. Stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Green, yellow. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Describe this place. It's loud, mm. vibrant. Uh, there's so much happening. Mm -hmm. So many people. 
How do the people dress in this place? Hmm. Do they wear any clothes? Yeah. Robes and bright colors and oldish, old, old style. Mm -hmm. Do you dress differently where you live than in the forest? Yes. So how are you dressed? Take a look. That's silver blue. It's um, like a, it drapes, mm -hmm. but it it's very light. Lightweight. Lightweight. Very good. How long is it? Down to my feet. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's now move through this city and tell me what happens within the city. Mm. Describe everything around you. There's people moving everywhere. I come to a house. It's my house. Mm -hmm. What does it look like from the outside? It's um, yellow. Is Crys it crystal yellow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crystal yellow. What shape is this crystal in? Some parts are jagged and mm -hmm. some are smooth and like a like a rectangle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it stand alone or is it part of another crystal? I think it's part mm -hmm. part of something. Okay. Other buildings. How do you get inside of it? There, there's a door, mm -hmm. an opening. Mm -hmm. You just walk through the opening. There's no closing. No. All right. So as you walk in, I'd like for you to tell me what's on the inside mm -hmm. of this home. White, white fur carpetings, um, cou couches. And there's fur hanging on the walls. Mm -hmm. What color are these furs? Like blonde, beige. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very comfortable. Uh huh. These furs that you have, are these ones that you hunted yourself? Yes. Mm hmm. Yep. It's not my home, though. It's my parents. Oh, I see. So let's find out a little bit about this place mm -hmm. and your parents. Take a look around and see who else is there with you. Two younger kids. My who are they? A sister and a brother. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What else do you see there? They're playing. They're loud. Mm -hmm. Running around. They're younger than me. They're ten, ten years younger at least. Uh -huh. Do they look like you? Mm -hmm. what, describe what they look like. They are tall mm -hmm. and uh, they have fur. Mm -hmm. Is the fur on the face also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it long fur or short fur? Short. Mm -hmm. Short. Good. And take a look at the eyes. How are your eyes shaped? Almonds. Almond. Mm -hmm. More like human eyes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. And do you have a nose? Yeah. Anything else distinguishable from your face, your appearance? Like cat ears. Mm -hmm. Good. Strong. Strong, very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to leave that scene. We're going to close that scene and go now to an important day in your lifetime that was very significant. Be there now.
What's happening? Mm -hmm. There's fire coming down from the sky and what's happening? It's fire coming down from the sky and it's landing, it's loud, everyone's scared. Do you see anything anywhere where this fire is coming from? I don't know, maybe, maybe another ship. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. I think we're all running. Describe what happens as it's happening. Connect with the feelings. I'm scared and I pick my sister up and run with her and I don't know where my brother is. Mm -hmm. Where are you running to? I'm just away. Just running away. Mm -hmm. And it's loud and people are screaming and crying and things are on fire now and ah oh, and the earth is moving mm -hmm. tell me more Where do you go? Into the forest. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I think everyone died. Everyone died in the city. Mm -hmm. So who is left? Who's in the forest with you? Me and my sister. So now we're going to close that scene. Close that scene. We're going to now move forward to the next significant the most significant event that happens after this. Be there now. Where are you? Back in the small town. Mm -hmm. I think I, I'm marrying. I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. Who are you marry? The man I traded with. Mm -hmm. How old are you now? Late twenties, mm -hmm. early thirties. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this. Wedding. Where are you? It's, it's just safe in the town. Safe in the town. And um, it's it's not like super happy, but it's it feels safe. Mm -hmm. Very good. And as you look at your husband. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel, this connection you have with him? Is it out of love or out of safety? Both. Mm -hmm. But I can trust him. Mm -hmm. I like him.
He respects me mm -hmm. as I am and doesn't try to make me something I'm not. And I like that. Very good. So now we're going to close that scene and move forward to another scene in that lifetime that was important. What's happening? Okay. I had a baby. Mm -hmm. What's the sun? How are you feeling? Good. Mm -hmm. I I think it looks like him, not me. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your baby's eyes. Do you recognize this soul? Anna. Very good. Connect. Connect with the soul. Feel the love. Hmm. And now we're going to close this scene and go now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. We're going to move forward to the last day. Be there now. Look around you. What is this place? It's bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or are there others with you? Yeah, my family. Mm -hmm. You'll understand how many children you had. Yeah. I, I had three more. Mm -hmm. It was a good life. Mm -hmm. So I want you now to just think about what are your last thoughts of that lifetime? What you experienced? I have mixed feelings about it. Mm -hmm. I I loved I loved my husband and my family. And it wasn't my family. Mm -hmm. It was a it was a good life, and I did what I could for everybody. Very good. So I'd like for you now to take your last breath in that lifetime, releasing your spirit from that body. And as you release, you'll be able to see that lifetime completely, understand the purpose and the lessons. What was the purpose of living that life? Hmm. It was to be at home. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from it? with people that love you. Mm -hmm. And you lost that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So what advice 
would you like to give Kim today? Now knowing that she also experienced having to leave her home. That home is not a thing. It's being with people mm -hmm. that you love could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. So would you advise for her to move forward in her life? Looking for those special people that you can love? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what else would you like to tell her? Going back at too much in the past. Don't go don't go back in the past all the time and try and fix mm -hmm. what happened. Just like in that lifetime everything was burned down. Everything was trashed. This is similar to hers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what can she do now in the moment to make her life full and loving? Notice who's in, notice who's in your life now. Mm -hmm. Be with the people that are here now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So now, I'd like for you to continue your journey as spirit. Continue drifting and floating through time and space as a spirit and tell me what happens next where do you go next what's the next thing that happens it could be another lifetime it could be a meeting with the guides I'm going to go ahead and count from three Back to one. When I get to number one, you'll be in this new place with information. Taking a deep breath now. Three. Through time and space. Two. To the next appropriate vision. And one. Be there now. What do you see? Where are you? Are you indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Mm -hmm. There's a fire. Tell me more. I'm sitting around a fire. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or are there others with you? There's a couple other people. Mm -hmm. As you sit around the fire, are you male or female? Take a look at your feet. Um, male? Tell me more. What do you look like? I'm old. Mm -hmm. An old man. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed there? No, no shirt. Mm -hmm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. What else do you wear? A 
like a loincloth. Mm -hmm. White. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a look at your hair. What's your hair look like? White. Mm -hmm. It's in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. Is it long? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're doing around the fire tonight? Or is it is it nighttime or mm -hmm. daytime? It's night. Mm -hmm. Yep. What is it that you're doing there? We're talking. Mm -hmm. We're planning. Tell me more. Something's happening. I can't. I think we need to go. So, do you feel some urgency? Yeah, we're mm -hmm. trying to figure out where and when. Mm -hmm. Those that are with you that are planning this, who are they? Other men. Mm -hmm. Elders. Elders. Are you an elder with them? Yes. Uh huh. So are you responsible for your people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens next? What do you decide? I think winter's coming. Mm -hmm. So we we decide to go. We pack up like teepees and tents and we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to close that scene. Now we're going to go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. Taking a deep breath now, drifting and floating to the next important scene. Be there now. Where are you? No. Mm -hmm. Are you on foot? Horses. On horses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many do you see around you? Um, ten. Ten people. Is this your entire tribe? No, I think. I think we're slower. Mm -hmm. We weren't supposed to get so much snow. Mm -hmm. I think I I stayed too long. Mm -hmm. Are the others? Did the others leave? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what happens now? Now that you're traveling through the snow. have a cough. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm dying. What's going on through your mind? I'm... I'm angry at myself and feel like it's my fault. Mm -hmm. They think I'm wise and I'm not. I don't feel wise. I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. So what is this mistake costing? My life. Mm -hmm. What about their lives? Are they safe? I think they're waiting for me to die. Mm -hmm. And then they'll catch up. They're younger. Mm -hmm. 
So I'd like for you to see yourself on the last few minutes of your life. Where are you? I'm in a tent. Mm -hmm. And it's warm. I'm coughing. What are your thoughts there? It's actually not so bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who was there with you? No one. Mm -hmm. They've left you there? I think so. Mm -hmm. Did you request that? I think so. All right. So take your last breath now in that life. Take it and release your spirit from that body. Feel yourself just releasing and looking back at that life. What do you feel? What's going through your mind and your heart? I have, I have some some regrets. Mm -hmm. I think around mm -hmm. how I made choices, and I was supposed to lead, but I don't think I really knew. Mm -hmm. felt lost a lot, mm -hmm. like I was guessing. Were others following you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you led them in the wrong path? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's find out what happens. What happens next to your spirit? Where do you go? Tell me everything you see and experience. After you leave that body. There's people around me. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? Uh, the good people. They hug me and mm -hmm. hold me and... Now, in this place where you are, they don't use words. They speak telepathically. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to connect and hear their thoughts. What do they tell you when they greet you? <laughs> that, that was a hard life <laughs> that I chose. That was a hard life. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that life? to learn what it feels like to trust myself mm -hmm. to listen do you feel you did a good job now that you're in spirit were you actually trusting yourself yeah So took a look at that life now that you could see it from a different aspect. Did you lead them in the wrong path? Or were you a pretty good leader? No, I was I was pretty good. Mm hmm I was very hard on myself. Yes. So now that you see it from a different perspective, what would you say in a future life when you're hard on yourself? What would you say now to Kim, who doesn't think she's done a great job? That 
you can you can't tell in the moment mm -hmm. and to just trust myself and choose and it always turns out mm -hmm. so if she follows her her instinct she will lead herself and to the right path yes very good why is it that she had to experience so much loss She has focused so much on the leaving. Mm -hmm. She's not really looking at where it's taking her. Mm -hmm. So she's looking backwards instead yes. of forward? Yes. But she's also looking way into the future. Like, what is she going to do decades from now? <laughs> what advice would you like to give her about that? that she may or may not go where she thinks she's going mm. but it doesn't matter all there is is to do what's in front of her today mm -hmm. so did she choose to do something in this lifetime to fulfill her purpose uh, yeah I think she has a lot of them. She'll either do them or not. Mm -hmm. What is the major thing that she wanted to accomplish in this lifetime? Mm. Was there a lesson for her? Yes. Could you tell her about that lesson? To stand on her own two feet, mm -hmm. to um, learn that she's capable, that that she can do it. Mm -hmm. Was this lifetime as a native affecting this one? Did she have any regrets from that, that she yeah. moved over to this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. How was it affecting her? She doesn't trust herself. Mm -hmm. She always tries to second guess her choices. Mm -hmm. What advice would you like to give her about that now? that it's her life mm -hmm. to take action mm -hmm. so and, tr and trust and trust so when she sees that escalator step coming she needs to jump on yes mm -hmm. not wait for the next <laughs> step and the next step and the next step right mm -hmm. good so right now she seems to be doing well in her career yeah she's enjoying what she does yes she wants to move forward yes and do other things that excite her yes what do you think about that? Yeah. Is that a good move? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Good. Now, we talked about her learning to trust herself in this lifetime. Is that her purpose? Or is there something else? No, it's that. It's that. Yeah. To just learn to trust herself. Yes. Okay, good. So, when she asks, what is she here to accomplish? Is there anything in particular? Mm. 
Maybe, but... Not at this time? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Is there anything that you would like to tell your daughter about herself, about her family, that she would find important? I, I I think we we think we're alone a lot mm -hmm. and and that that's bad mm -hmm. it's a choice so she shouldn't feel bad by being alone no mm-hmm mm -hmm. Do you have any suggestions or tips on relationships for her? Now that you see your life from a different perspective. She won't she won't be alone. She won't be alone. No. Okay. But she needs to learn to be alone now. She did. Mhm. Mm yes. Okay. How is she doing? Good. Good. And who are the ones around her who help her? Your watch, but who are her guides? Does she have many? Yes. Mm -hmm. Three. Three guides. Good. That are there a lot. Very good. Is there anything else, Mary, that you would like to tell your daughter at this time? Stop being so afraid. Mm -hmm. It's not real. Tell her what is real. Anything? <laughs> is it all in the imagination? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Thank you so much. Take a deep breath in. Kim, is there anything you would like to say or ask your mom? I I just want to tell her I I learned how to be connected from her. You want to thank your mom for that? Yes. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Mom, what do you have to say back? It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I th thought that she didn't love me. Mm -hmm. Mom, when you left this plane. Did you go to the light? No. No. You've been here all this time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So would you like your daughter to assist you now to finally going home? Now that you know that she loves you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you been attached to your daughter in any way? Yes. Yes. What area were you attached to? The heart. The heart. So what have you been doing to her heart? It hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. Would you like your heart to feel better now? Mm -hmm. All right. So first, what we need to do is to go in there and forgive yourself, Mary. Forgive yourself for taking your own life. That even though you know that it was part of the plan, that your spirit knows that this is what you came here to do, you still hold that within you, don't you? Yes. All right. So, Mary, I'm going to put my hand over your heart, 
And I want you to give me all of that pain that you've been carrying, knowing that you didn't feel like you succeeded in this life either. That you had to run away from all of those problems. That you didn't make the best choices. And that you would have wanted to have been here for your daughters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me all of that guilt. Everything. All that turmoil that you've been feeling. Give it all to me. And tell me when I have it all. All right, I'm going to take that, Mary, and send it to the universe for healing. And now, in that space that hurts so much, what would you like to put? Love. Let's put lots of love in there. I'm going to fill that heart with love. Feel it coming in, allowing it to just with every beat of your heart. Just fill every bit of your essence. And I'm going to tap that in. And now, Mary, take a look at that heart and see how it's shining. Yes. Look for that light within. This is God's light. This is the light that created you. I'd like for you to take that light now and expand it, Mary. And tell me how it feels when you expand that divine light within you. Warm and mm -hmm. full. Very good. So make it even bigger. Make it as big as a star. Feel the love directly from God. Feel that warm feeling. And tell me how that changes you. How does that transform you, Mary? stronger and, mm -hmm. like, and lighter. Very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my team to come and surround you. These are my angels, the angels of the light. Mm. Feel them around you. And what do they tell you, Mary? I can go. Very good. Anything else you want to say to your daughter? Mm -hmm. I think I'm proud of her. Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to protect her. Mm -hmm. But by protecting her, what were you doing? <laughs> Holding her back. Yes. Yeah. So now that you can see with that love in your heart, you can now go home and guide her from a different perspective. Like a guide. Yeah. Not like a burden. So I'd like those angels now to accompany you and take you straight home back to God. And tell me when you get home. Okay. Very good. Is there anybody there to welcome you? My dad. Mm -hmm. What does he tell you? He's been waiting. Mm -hmm. Give him a big hug, Mary. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you so much. And now, I'd like for you to go ahead and detach completely from Mom. Allowing her to progress naturally in the spirit world. And let's take a look at that heart beating within Kim. And let's do a scan of that heart and see what that heart looks like. Is it healthy or does it need some work? There's a hole. There's a hole there. Yeah. That's the hole that mom left, isn't it? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill that hole. We're going to fill that with something very, very important. 
What would you like to fill that with? What would make that hole complete? Peace. Peace, very good. So what I'm gonna do is I want you to imagine what the color peace look like. What color does peace look like? Gold. Gold, so I'm gonna put my hand over that heart and let's put that golden light. Filling that heart with gold. Feel it as it expands. Allowing that heart to get stronger and stronger. And I'm going to touch your forehead and seal that gold in. You can take a deep breath and feel that heart now. What does it feel like? Stronger. Stronger. Very good. Very good. So now I'd like for you to do a scan of your body. Imagine a visual scan. It's as if you were going through a, a light MRI, like a just made out of light and as you scan your body there may be an area that maybe has a hole maybe has a shadow maybe has a movement or a tingling and as you allow yourself to just flow through this scanner let me know if there's any areas in your body that need attention or is it good Oh, liver. Liver. Let's take a look what's in that liver. Let's see what color, what shape, what's forming something different in the liver. What's there? Something red. Something red, all right. So I want you to focus in even closer. Get even deeper into that liver. I may notice that that red has a shape or a form. Let's go deeper into that lever. What shape is this red in? Let's find out what it is. It's a stone. It's a stone. All right. Is this a stone that belongs in the liver? No. Is it a stone that Kim placed there? No. Where is the stone? Identify it. Get closer. Someone's anger. Somebody's anger. Very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you focus on that stone. And I want you to come up with a sentence or an emotion that describes the stone. This anger. What sentence? Go ahead and see what's being shouted out at that stone. It's not fair. It's not fair. Very good. Where are you? Indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others there? I think... I think I'm with my sisters and my dad. Mm -hmm. What's happened? I don't know, but I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's happening. Allow yourself to see it. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I do, I'll put my hand on your third eye and you'll be able to see what you're scared of. Three, two, and one. Feel it, make it stronger. Feel, feel the fear. What's causing it? I don't know. I think he's fighting with her. Mm hmm He's fighting with mom. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's being said? He's leaving. Mm -hmm. He's going away for work. Mm hmm How is that affecting you? What is his fear? He's leaving all of us. Mm -hmm. But she's scared. Mm -hmm. Is this your fear, your mom's fear that you're feeling? 
I think it's hers. Mm -hmm. Follow it. Mm. Follow it. Tell me what that fear says. He's leaving her alone with all the kids, mm -hmm. and he's going out to sea. She doesn't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Two. Mm -hmm. So what have you done with your mama's fear? I'm younger. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm stuffing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're taking her fear and stuffing it inside mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. You're trying to help mommy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that feel when you take all her fear? Does it feel good? No. No. Why are you taking mommy's fear? Are you trying to help her? I'm trying to help. Mm -hmm. It's so big. Mm -hmm. It's big, isn't it? And your little body can hardly hold it. What would you like to tell your mommy? Tell her what you feel. Do <sighs> we'll be okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to not feel this way. <sighs> mm -hmm. Does your mommy took know you took her fear? No. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell her now? Look at mommy. I'm going to touch her forehead when I do. Be mommy. One, two, and three. <laughs> mommy, do you know that your daughter took your fear? No. No. What do you like to say to her? <laughs> to give it back. Mm-hmm. It's not hers, is it? It's too big for her to swallow, isn't it? Yes. And it's not hers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you like for her to give it back to you? Yes. All right. Take a deep breath in. Little Kim, are you ready to give your mommy that back? It's not yours. Yes. Little girl, you know they took something that was too big for you to swallow. So big. Uh-huh. So I'd like for you now to go inside of you. Inside of you and pull. All of that fear away. I'm going to help you. I'm going to put my hand over your heart. And we're going to pull it out right through here. Pull it all out. Pull it all out. Tell me when I have it all. Just take all of that fear. That's not yours. That's your mommy's. Pull it all out. It was too hard to swallow. And it felt a big rock inside yes all right do I have it all all right let's take it and now let's talk to mommy mommy now that your daughter gave you back your fear what would you like her to put in that space instead what should little girls have instead of fear fun let's put fun in let's put lots of fun <laughs> Feel it going in. Feel the laughter going in. Thanks. It's almost like little bubbles. Little bubbles going in there, tickling, 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 click. Feel all that fun going in there. Yes. All that space where all that fear was. All oh, that is now fun. Yes. And let's seal that in. What else do you think, Mommy, we should put in there? Love. Love. Let's put lots of love. Feel that love as it goes in. It's nice love. Caressing her. Making her feel good. And safe. And safe. Let's put lots of safety in there. Lots of safety. Because little girls need to grow up knowing that they're safe. And feel that. Now, little girl, how do you feel? Good. Good. Very good. Would you like to give your mommy a big hug? Yes. Give her a big hug. Feel that hug. I'm going to help you give her mommy a hug. Go ahead. Put your arms up around her. Put your arms around your mommy. Give her a big hug. 
And now that you don't have that in your tummy anymore, you have love and peace and happiness and joy. How does it feel to have that, mommy? Good. Good. Very good. Very good. So now, I'd like for you to just detach from that, detach from that. Let's go back in time and space, coming back. And take a look at that liver now. Take a look at that. Mm. How does that look now? Good. Very good. So now we want to put something in that liver. Where that stone was, what would you like to put in that liver? What color? Yellow. Beautiful. So we're going to do something. We're going to do something different. We're going to be bring a beam of yellow light right into the top of the head. Feel that strong yellow beam of light coming in. And as we do, I want you to just send that light like a laser into that liver. A laser of love. And send that beautiful yellow light. Healing. Releasing. Sending it love. Feeling it just release any tension that it has. Knowing you're not going to stuff anything into it anymore, that it doesn't belong there. Very good. And just take a deep breath in. And let's continue to scan once again. Feel that scan of that body as we continue to roll down the body and see. What else is there that we need to take care of? My feet. The feet. What's going on in the feet? Take a look and see what's happening. Is this something that is hindering her progress? Take a look. What's on the feet? Use that spiritual, spiritual eyes. Is this something that she created or attached to her? What is that? Something attached. Attached, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the feet. And just like you would shake something out that's stuck, we're going to shake those feet and we're going to bring... Whatever is in those feet, we're going to bring them up. So let's shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and feel that energy going up the body. We're going to bring it up, 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 and give it a voice. And you there on the feet. <laughs> Are you male or female? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Roger. Roger. How old are you, Roger? Mm. 40s. 40s. What year is it for you, Roger? Just after the war. After the war. What year is that? There's many, many wars. 44. 1944. Mm -hmm. And Roger, tell me what happened to you. How did you lose your body? Take a look. What happened on that last moment of your life? Mm. What happened? Was, I was mugged. You were mugged. I was knifed. Mm -hmm. Where did they get you? The liver. Mm -hmm. Stomach. The stomach. Yeah. So, tell me, Roger, what happened after that body died? Where did your spirit go? Mm. I was hanging around. Mm -hmm. Mm. Why? Why didn't you go home to the light? I think I was mad. Mm -hmm. Who knifed you? It was a girl. Mm -hmm. It was my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Were you mad at her? Mm hmm Why did she knife you? Did she have a reason? Yeah, we were fighting. Mm hmm So after she knifed you, you kind of just hung around? Mm hmm 
What you th what were you thinking was happening? What did you think was going to happen if you were just here? Well, I didn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. You see, Roger, when a body dies and a spirit is released, the place we need to go is back home, back to our Creator. And the way back home is very easy, but I think that you were too busy and may have been misled. Mm -hmm. You see, Roger, that light inside of you is a light that takes you home. Do you see that light now? It may be very, very tiny, but it's there. <laughs> what if it's bad? Ah, well, we're going to test it out. Mm. Before you go all the way, we can test and see how it is. Would you like to see first what it's like to go home? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for my team member, Archangel Michael. I want him to escort you to see what it looks like to go back there. Mm. And I want you to report back to me and let me know what it is. Go ahead, Michael. It's but bright. It's bright. Look around a little bit. Who's there? My girlfriend. Mm, what does she say to you? That I, sh I deserved it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Can you forgive yourself for getting out of control? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does that feel when you forgive yourself? Mm. It's gone. Mm -hmm. So now, are you ready to go back home? Yeah. All right. I want you to release all of your energy from Kim's body. And just go straight home. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you, Roger. Very good. Disconnect completely from Roger. And let's put that beautiful light into those feet. What light would you like to put in now? Pink. Pink, very good. See that light coming in through the top of your head? Beam it down all the way into the feet. And let's put that beautiful pink light. And tell me what happens. It's vibrating. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Let's find out a little bit about her relationships. What can she ignite in herself in order to attract another? Being open. Being open. Mm -hmm. Well, now that she has released attachments in her body mm -hmm. that were holding her back, is she able to open up that heart completely? Yes. All right. Very good. So let's take a look at her heart and see what it looks like. How how healthy is it for her to find true love? Hmm. Better. Better. Mm -hmm. But it seems to me that there's still something attached to that, isn't there? Yeah. And you see, the universe life abhors a vacuum whenever there is a space it always fills it mm. but it seems that there is something there that's not allowing this true love to get in what is attached to that heart that's now allowing the universe to fill it mm. is there an attachment to it? yes mm -hmm. how much of that is taking up her heart Most of it. Most of it. So, is she ready to release that attachment? Mm. Mm. 
No. No. Will she be willing to minimize it to where she can still be attached a little bit, but allow something else to come in? Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to. I want you to go ahead and see how big this cord is that's entangling this heart. Mm. And what it looks like. Your cable. Mm -hmm. It is with lots of different things connecting all over, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to shine some light on that cable to make it smaller. All right. And as we make it smaller, some of the cable parts that are holding on to the heart, that are strangling this heart, keeping it from being open to any other possibilities, will just begin to dissolve and only that part that she needs for guidance will remain. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So what would you like to use in order to begin reducing this cable? We can use water. We can use light. We can even... Water. All right. So let's begin to just sh shine some, some of this water on it. Just flood it with water. And you will see that the parts begin to dissolve all of those cables that are attached to the heart that don't need to be there will just begin to dissolve and it will begin to minimize this cable only leaving that part a really tiny spark a little piece of cable that is there to guide her to give her love All right. Now the rest of the heart, may you may find it has a bunch of little holes in it, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, from all of those cables that were attached. And she can't go around with a holy heart, can she? No. No. She needs to patch up that heart, and we need to make it whole. Because if she is to give her love to others, her heart needs to be whole. Mm. So what I would recommend is gold. Because there is a tradition, the, and the Japanese have this tradition that when something breaks, they mend it with gold. And gold not only is beautiful, but it's very strong. So let's begin to put that golden light inside the heart. And as we do, you'll see the gold shine in from the inside out, making it very strong. Make that heart very strong with that golden light. And being that it's golden, that gold will be able to be emitted from her heart to others. Mm. Tell me when that's done. Okay. All right. So what does that heart look like now? Stronger. Stronger. Yes. Mm -hmm. What would make it even stronger? Make it bigger. All right. So go ahead and begin making it bigger. Big, expand that heart because all of those cables were kind of making it small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand that it's our heart. This is Kim's heart and she needs to make it as big to be able to love others. And not only love in a relationship like that, but love her children love her siblings, love those that she works with. Mm -hmm. This love is what she is going to be sharing with others. The confidence in her heart will help heal the others as that gold shines through. And tell me when you're done, when that heart feels big enough. Okay. All right, very good. And now that her heart is golden, let's find out why she has felt alone so much in her life. She used to have a powerful connection to God. She can't anymore. What's, what's keeping her from that connection? Has she ever lost it? No. No. What happened there? She 
she needed to learn how to do it herself. Mm-hmm. And she did. Mm-hmm. Does she have a connection with God? Yes. Yes. Does God have a message for her today? Not alone. Not alone. Very good. What is it that she had to learn from all of that? How to rebuild. How to rebuild. And it seems that in that first life that you showed her. Yes. That she had to rebuild. Yes. By herself. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what is the what is the bottom line about our life? Why do we have to rebuild all the time? Hanging on to what we thought was hanging on to what we think is perfect Mm -hmm. and how it's supposed to be and none of it's real Mm -hmm. there's only now and talking about only now she's always talking about what she's going to be doing in the next few decades she should be thinking that far ahead no okay tell her what she should be focusing on right now what she's doing right now Mm mm-hmm what she's learning and planning and doing right now. Mm-hmm. Very good. And now that we know that she should be living in the moment of now, what did she come here in this lifetime to do? Mm. To share with people mm-hmm. what she knows. Will her heartaches help others? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So she's made herself strong to help others in the same path? Yes. Mm-hmm. Will she be using that? Yes. Okay, good. Is that what she came here to accomplish, or there is more? <laughs> to live. Mm-hmm. And now that she has her skates on, yes, she can go a long way, can't she? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So, is there anyone else that would like to give her a message today that she can take home and cherish? How is dad, for example? Yeah. Is she able to connect with dad today? No. No. Is there anything that she could do to assist him? Is his soul in a different place? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. I think he's fine. All right. So what I would suggest is that we can do now almost like a lighthouse so the dad can find his way. We're going to send out a beam from our heart, that golden light, and let's beam it to dad wherever he is. Beam that love so that he can remember to make his way home. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell him today? I would like to know why you brought her here from so far away. Heal. To heal. Yes. How does she look now? Much better. Very good. What would make it much better moving forward? Taking action. Okay. Doing 
doing what she knows to do Mm -hmm. for today. Very good. So each day, step on the next step. Yes. Very good. Wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. (sighs) Welcome back. Thank you. Let's switch up those rocks so we can get you grounded. Yeah. How do you feel? Good. Feel good? Yes, my feet feel really light. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. What do you remember? I remember all of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Interesting, huh? Yeah, it answered a lot of questions. Um, mm-hmm. without, I, without me asking? Right. I feel um, like I heard what I needed to hear yeah. and yeah. felt what I needed to feel. Mm-hmm. How long do you think this journey was? How did it feel to you? Time-wise? Mm-hmm. Oh. Short, long? About how long? I don't know, it felt like an hour. Hmm. Yeah. We are an hour and 42 minutes. Oh, really? <laughs> a longer than that? A little, yeah. 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 But your body feels good? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So did you think that this was going to be like this? No. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I've had, like, thoughts about past lives before, but yeah. none of these. That was an interesting one. Yeah. Two toes and... <laughs> Furry. <laughs> and people look like raccoons. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> interesting. It was interesting. Yeah. But uh, life was really interesting in that you lived in crystal. Places. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. And I've never had thoughts about that before, you know? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, when, when you have questions in the future as to whether you made it up or not, you could tell your ego, like, well, why would... Why would I make why would I make that up? Right. Right. Right? Right. So it doesn't matter if I made it up or not, if I heard something that I needed to hear. Yeah. 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 It was good. So do you think that this would be interesting for other people? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, actually my sister in particular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to share it? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you feel? Very um relaxed yeah and um kind of excited about the future Mm. yeah yeah you were wondering about what you were going to be doing in the future yes how do you feel now yeah um like everything uh, (laughs) is possible and Mm -hmm. all the things that i've been thinking about are all great and i don't have to pick one thing and that's how it goes yeah that's how it goes yeah and that um some of the things that i've been thinking of today Mm -hmm. that's what i should be doing today yeah Yeah. everything is in the moment of now that's really what it's all about yeah you know we we're spending too much time thinking about the past Mm -hmm. and the future and we're not living this moment right so that's why we're always wondering or or we're just we're lamenting the past because we weren't we're regretting that we weren't there when when it was happening right right so what was the reason you came here today um i i think I think to um, be complete, uh, you know, like, um, I don't know if that's the right word, <laughs> but to um, forgive uh, mm-hmm. what's happened with all the loss that I've had, mm-hmm. be, be okay about it, yeah. and um, know that I did learn. I learned a lot from it, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. as, as you've mentioned, it's made me who I am today, mm-hmm. and I like a lot of who I am today, you know, mm-hmm. and... Um, and then I'm a lot stronger than I thought yeah. I was. Yeah. Um, and um, there's something about um, attachment, you mm-hmm. know. Um, you know, you had said something about not attaching so much. Um, and that's definitely something that I've been doing. Yeah. 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 Hanging on to things. And the reason we're saying this is because before. I even do the hypnosis session on anybody. We spend a lot of time talking, mm-hmm. a lot of time talking, and um, before the, the session even begins. You think that's helpful? Oh, very. Yeah. 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 So that's why it takes so long because we do a lot of talking, and yeah. I get a lot of history about you yep. before we even start. So then when I'm doing the session, I kind of know already the, the history. I don't just sit down with you for 10 minutes and 
start. We talk a long time. Yeah. And so I think that helps both of us. Yes. In maneuvering through this. So yeah. is this something that you recommend to other people? Highly recommend. It was worth the trip. <laughs> and where are you from? Colorado. <laughs> and we're, we're in Miami right now. Yeah. So uh, it's totally worth the trip. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, right now it's snowing in Colorado. And look at this beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful blue sky with clouds. A little chilly for our taste, but yeah. it's worth it. It's better than <laughs> snow. <laughs> so um, yeah. did you wait a long time to get this session? A year and a half. Mm. It took a year year and a half. Um, but you're here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how it works. It's all divine timing. Mm -hmm. If you're meant to come to this session, you will. And how you get a session with me is you just go to my website, albawyman.com. Uh, there you will see a link uh, for hypnosis. Click on that link and it will take you to a uh, newsletter. Sign up for my newsletter. Yeah. And then when you sign up, you will get my newsletters telling you where I'm going to be next. And there's links to calendars. Each link is an individual calendar that will tell you where I'm going to hold the sessions. So if you're not signed up, you're not going to get the links and uh, that's how I book my sessions. Mm -hmm. But if you're meant to be here, you will. So sign up and uh, I hope you enjoyed this session and I get to meet you sometime soon and we'll do a session on you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, of course. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you.